Now, it's no secret that I worked at Dairy Queen for many, many, many years before I got into the digital marketing arena. And this is where I learned customer service. I grew up at Dairy Queen from three years old to like 30. And that's all I ever knew. But one of the greatest things that I ever took out of that place was learning customer service. And I remember throwing fits sometimes there because I just didn't want to work. And this leads me to a story that I want to share because uh, a lot of people have passion. A lot of people want to do stuff, but they're sitting on their couch hoping that stuff's going to come their way. It just does not work like that. So I want to share a story of a very specific time that kind of pushed my mentality towards a different route. So what happened was for many months, a homeless man would come into the Dairy Queen and he'd use the restrooms before we'd even open and probably like 30 minutes before we'd open for like maybe two months at least. So this guy would come in and we'd greet him and let him do his thing, go to the restroom, wash up, and we'd see shit all over the wall, literally shit all over the wall. I, I just could not understand like how this was happening day after day after day, and I had to clean it. I didn't complain about it because I knew it just had to be done. It had to get done before we opened the store. And you know, one day I just got fed up. I was like, is this what my life is gonna become? Like cleaning shit up off the wall and taking shit from people. Because I mean, if you're in the restaurant industry, you know it's a very tough industry to do. And I was listening to a lot of motivational tapes at the time. And it took me like three years to be able to get off the couch, figure out that this is something that I wanted to do and put everything that I did into it, money, time, sweat equity, everything I possibly could to be able to become a digital marketer. And that one thing that that incident taught me was that that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Obviously there was a ton of different things that I could have done, could have taken on Dairy Queen when my, when my dad retires or could just become management and just stay there the rest of my life. But that's not what I wanted to do. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I'm just saying that this was my decision. This is what I felt I had to do. And I know a ton of people that are employees that are some of the best people that I've ever met, but it just wasn't for me. So what I'm trying to say is that you're gonna have to clean up that shit. That's part of life. You can't get to the next level without cleaning that shit, without getting the work done. And also one of those other things that it's taught me is when I go into my clients' places now and I see a piece of trash on the floor or something's not right, I'll pick it up, throw it away. What it's done is it's conditioned me to be able to provide great customer service, but also present an image of the business in the right way. So I hope you can take something from the story. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. You're gonna have to put in the work, keep going, don't stop. It's only over all the years that you become an expert at what you're gonna do. And that's the only way you can achieve success the long term. I've only been doing this for five years, but I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I love doing this stuff. And I'm not gonna stop until I physically cannot do that anymore. And when that happens, I'm gonna figure something out. So with that being said, don't stop. Keep going, keep moving. I know coronavirus has crippled a lot of people's morales, a lot of people are hurting, a lot of businesses are hurting, but you keep going, figure it out, and don't stop. Don't ever stop.